So I want to ask you a little bit about you and Christian because we now have seen you guys be together on the show, but tell me more about your relationship before the show. How did you meet and how long had you been together? We met through Catherine Agro because Christian is her roommate. Another Bachelor Nation alum. Yes, mm -hmm. so we met through her and we were just two humans enjoying each other's company. Um, I had always known that I was going to go on Paradise and so I was upfront with her about that whenever we first met. So we both agreed to keep it open, non-exclusive. Well, that's what I was wondering, because when she came to Paradise, you seemed really happy to see each other. And it didn't give an indication that you'd had a bad breakup or something. Did you actually break up before you went to Paradise, or were you in an exclusive thing? We were never really together, okay. so there was nothing to break up. It was just like, I'm open, I'm still going to be open. I could go to Paradise, and I might fall in love with someone. And you, like, she was okay with that. Okay. Um, but yeah. So whenever I saw her, I had no idea that the feelings were so strong until like we were finally like reunited. Did you have any idea that she might show up in paradise? No, I thought I was leaving. I thought that Chris was taking me up there to say, all right, go get her. Go get her like? Home. Oh, Go back home. to okay. California. <laughs> because you said, I want to talk to Chris. What did you want to say to Chris? Were you ready to leave the show? I was at the point where I was ready to leave the show if that's what my only option was. Yeah, he's just, he's a great person to like, get advice from. You said that when you started dating Christian, you intended Tended to go on Paradise the whole time. But if you were feeling feelings for her, why not just stay? What wasn't clicking 100% about things with Christian? I think it was my fear of commitment. Mm. I wasn't ready yet, and I didn't know if that's what I wanted. Um, I wanted to protect myself, so I kept it you know, very surface level and didn't really let her in. Kept it light. Yeah, kept it very light. Because then on the show, you started to say to Hannah when she came and also to Derek, wait, this is more serious. Uh, I, I may have been downplaying this. What was that realization you were having? That I actually cared about her a lot more than I thought I did. Sometimes it's hard to admit we care. <laughs> right? I know. And trying to keep it cool the whole time and then not being around her at all and yeah. still thinking about her whenever I'm exploring a relationship with an amazing man. It was confusing for me, but Derek I knew. is amazing. He's the best. Isn't he? He really is. I mean, when you look back, tell me about that breakup moment with him, how hard that was. Oh my gosh, that was one of the hardest things I ever had to do because I didn't want to hurt anybody. Yeah. But the way that he responded, it just went oh. to prove how amazing he is. Uh, respectful king. Uh, yes. Mature. <laughs> I, I, Derek now has this rallying cry people wanting him to be The Bachelor. I know. Where do you fall on that? I mean, I will support him, whatever he wants to do. Um, I just want him to be happy. But are you going to campaign for that? Like, Derek, I'm here for you. I mean, you tweet a lot. Are you on the Derek for Bachelor hashtag train? Well, you know, I'm just trying to, like, get through Paradise. And, you know, Derek is still on Paradise. True. So, we don't know. Have you talked to him? Do you know if he's found love? I've talked to Derek, but we don't talk about our love life together anymore. Oh, we that... just like to keep it fun. Oh, okay. Is, is, is that still a little weird? I mean, because you did date? Yeah. I don't think it's weird. Okay. I just think that it's easier whenever we're just talking, like making jokes and stuff. Keeping it light. Yes. Keeping it funny. Keeping it light. Keeping it funny. <laughs> okay. Making sure we're good. 